All right, we're going to start very soon. Hi, good morning, two, Trinitarians three, and friends. Welcome four. to pre-service prayer. I'm Pastor May, and together five. with Pastor Kenny, we'll be leading you in this time of pre-service segment. And so if you have any prayer requests, I encourage you to submit online via our social media, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, and then we will pick it up and we'll pray along with you. And our pastors who are online will also pray along with you. And right now, we're going to go into a time of praying for the prayer requests that have come in during the week that were submitted via our online prayer request form. So join me, Trinitarians and friends, as we begin to intercede for this prayer request. Amen. Let's pray even right now for Elaine. Let's pray for the healing of a fibroid and eczema, for provision of business. Pray for Jacob for healing of shoulder pain, provision of business. For Veronica, healing of cellulosis, wisdom for studies, and Jesse for the healing of liver. Come on, you join me even right now as we begin to raise our voice and begin to declare who God is, our healer. We're going to declare who God is, our Lord Almighty, who will intervene in each and every one of these situations. Come on, pray with me right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray even right now for Elaine. God, I declare today that, Lord, you are the one who will heal. And so, Father, we declare you speak of healing to come upon her body right now, upon her fine voice and even her eczema condition. That, God, we pray that you will restore her body back to health. And, Father, we pray that, Lord, you will provide for her. In that, God, she will see that business opportunities coming, that she will be able to close the deals that come her way. Father, we pray for Jacob today. God, we just ask that Lord, as, as he begin to uh, experience shoulder discomfort, Father, we pray we speak of healing to come upon his shoulder right now. We begin to grant him relief and mobility back to his shoulder. Father, we pray for provision of business, that Lord, that you will provide for him, that you will open the door, that you will continue to see the, the, the clients coming in through his door, and you will be able to clinch the news. Father, we pray for Veronica, and we ask today that Lord, you will heal her, heal her of the cirrhosis, but you will continue to trust in you, put a faith and trust in who you are, that you will begin to do that miracle or that reversal of work even upon the spine right now. Father, we pray that you will continue to grant her wisdom as she studies, that you will continue to walk in faith and favor of the Lord. Father, we pray for Jesse today. Lord, I just ask for complete healing and restoration back to the condition of her liver, and we declare we speak for the God, Lord, a total and complete healing right now upon her liver. What the word says from Hebrews, and so that we can receive the help in our times of need. So right now, I want to invite you to pray, to join me and pray for this one, needing healing, needing God's intervention in their situations. Come on, let's pray right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we want to pray for Nelson. We want to ask for your healing of his pneumonia. We pray that you will clear his lungs. Lord, clear the airway. Let there not be any further infection and heal him completely. We speak strength. Let there be strength and healing that we release right now in His name. And that God, He will experience your favor and your joy even in His life. We want to pray for Captain, even as Captain is preparing for a surgery tomorrow. Lord, it is a critical surgery. Lord, we commit Captain into your hands. We ask right now for your peace to undergird her. We pray that you will strengthen her heart, strengthen her faith in you so that she will not waver, so that she will not be shaken, so that she will not cave into any form of fear. But today, I pray for the confidence in Kathy, even as she prepares to go for the surgery tomorrow. Let there be such an assurance that God will oversee every part, every portion of the surgery. And then in the post-surgery, that she will recover well, she will rebound back, and she will have the health and strength to guide her and to guide her. So Father, we want to give you the praise for what you're doing, even in Patina's life, in the HDB transaction, that she needs your intervention. God, I pray that you will meet her. I pray that you will provide for her, because you are God, Jehovah, Jaira, our God, who is our provider. And so Lord, I pray for Katrina that she will have this conviction, and she will trust in you to lead her all the way, even in having a successful HDB transaction. And then for CQ, as CQ believes that you will be with your friend at work, God, may your favor surround this friend, even in the work situation, it may be complex, it may be complicated, 
greater vibrate in the midst of it. May the counsel of God, may the favor of God shine through and let His friend come to know you as His personal Lord and Savior as well. In His hand, we give you all the glory, all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We'll move on to praying for prayer requests on the social media. So, Trinitarians and friends, if you have prayer requests, I encourage you to submit it online right now, and we will be praying with you. Amen. So, let's pray right now as you join me for the prayer request. As I want to pray for Annie, for Shiva, and I. Come on, join me as I pray for them right now. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pray for Annie right now. God, I just ask that God is experiencing left shoulder and arm pain. Six. And Lord, I just pray that you begin to release her shoulder Seven. and arm.
shall be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God, you are her healer. And God, you are in control. So to this end, we promise to give you all the praise, all the glory for what you will do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 There are some prayer for salvation. Let's pray, let's pray and uh, begin to lift their names up to God. Amen. Let's pray for Andrew and Sonia for salvation and for as you encounter God. Come on, you join me. I'm sure you have loved ones as well who need That's to encounter God. Who need to go know God. Come on, you begin to join me even right now. Two. You begin to pray for your loved ones. For them to Three. encounter and know God for who God is. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Four. Jesus. Father, we need to pray even right now for Andrew, for Sonia, even for Essie. And Lord, that they will begin to experience you. They will know you as a God who loves them. They will know you as a heavenly Father who looks after them. They will see you truly as a refuge. Lord, your hands will come and touch them, and they will encounter you, and they will acknowledge you as truly as Lord and King. And the Father will declare and speak of salvation also for those who are watching it, that their loved ones and God will come to know you as the, especially even during this Christmas season. So we give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And right now we're going to move on to praying for the church. You know, today is really a Thanksgiving service. We want to celebrate and we want to thank God for what God has done in you know, many of us encounter God here. Many of us, our families, begin to uh, learn more about God and grew up in Trinity Christian Center. So indeed, God has placed Trinity on a very special position, you know, to influence and touch the world. So let's begin to lift up Trinity Christian Center to God. Even right now, begin to say, God, many more years, God, many more years that you will fulfill her destiny and she will continue to walk and impact the world. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we can plan to as we begin to pray for the church. Lord, we thank you for how you have brought from Trinity Christian Center, even on her journey, on her path, oh God, Lord, to touch the world, to touch the nation, and to touch lives, oh God, where lives are restored, where people turn to you, where hope begins, oh God, to come forth, and there will be growth, oh God, Lord, in the life of Trinitarian. And the Father, we pray that many years will begin to come forth upon this church, that, Lord, you are established, oh God, Lord, your work in Trinity
Hallelujah. 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 